Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and guess what? Um, I have had a week, a spur on week in relation to Heaven and Earth Designs. So I've done, I think I did three sections, two of the days uh, and two sections another day. Does that add up? eight maybe. Uh, I decided to leave the last two sections for today's Whip and Waffle so it's going to be a longer one. I'm actually filming this before I film my Sunday Whip and Waffle would you believe. Um, Catherine is home from uni. Uh, she comes home every few weekends so she's currently home and I'm actually filming this on a Friday. So yesterday's heaven and earth design has only just gone up and I'm filming the next one. But are you ready for the zeros? Because I expect, well, we're going to have them all by the end of this. But I reckon we might get quite a few in this first section. It's taken, it was only this section here that I got rid of. Um, let me just pop that one down. Uh, that I got a zero on the at symbol, which was my top of the shop um, diamond. So I only got rid got that one went yesterday. Uh, I've just got my other top of the shop that is gone. But I say by the end of this, we should have zeros across everything, unless I've made some sort of mistake somewhere. But hopefully not. Uh, my canvas has ended up being exactly the right size. Um, it is only nine rows on this bottom part and that is all that I actually have left. So yes I thought let's go through all the rest of the comments by doing a double. I've got chance to get through any comments that were left over from last time and any comments that um, were done effect on last night's video. So there may be some that's still coming over the weekend that I don't get to on this video, depending on how long they take. Uh, but I will start replying to people's comments um, instead. So I'll either reply or you'll get a little heart reaction to let you know that I've read your comments. Um, I go. I have to go through comments on a daily basis now, pretty much Monday to Friday, every day I go through YouTube comments. Um, and yeah, next week I'm going to start, so I think my whip and waffle is going to be replaced next week with my spring clean of my spare storage and my de-kitting of this heaven and earth design. So the de-kit and spring clean of my spare storage is all going to happen at the same time. Oh, I'm just throwing diamonds about. Uh, and yeah, that will replace my whip and waffle until this is all de-kitted and away and my spare storage is all back to being pretty. And then, yeah, we shall see what I'll replace the whip and waffle with. Uh, I expect the spare storage to take a bit, so it may be that the spare storage takes the whole month of November. And if it does, then we'll be going into December whip and waffle and I'll start something new in the new year. But the consensus is that two whip and waffles should stay. So I might have one with a running theme. And I might have one that's a bit more random or I might, might not. I don't quite know yet. That's a later problem. I know what my now, pro my now mission is and that is to get this finished and then do my spare storage. So let's carry on with comments etc. There's quite a lot. Um, I do have two sections to do so hopefully I will get through all of the heaven and earth design comments that are outstanding as I'm filming this. Um, 
and yeah so stephanie she says she loves all of the videos uh she says long or short it doesn't bother her uh she says your videos my videos are her go-to um she says she does love lo longer videos though yeah longer videos do keep keep your company while you're diamond painting so i get that longer videos are popular um some of the longer video you know it's all right fitting in a couple of longer videos a week um i tend to find i hit more of a, a struggle should we say don't know whether it's fully a struggle um but yeah, when I have the two long whip and waffles and then an, a third longer video, that's when I seem to have a little bit more um, trouble fitting everything in. Um, it doesn't help that, you know, the energy levels don't always match the videos that I need to do. So some weeks I feel like I'm getting well ahead uh, and getting loads done and sometimes I'm not. So last week I think I spent one day doing videos and actually got a couple of unboxings done for future weeks. Um, but unboxing videos, you know, it was just a matter of I was enjoying filming. So I squoze in a couple more unboxing videos because why not? <coughs> I was in, you know, the right frame of mind, thoroughly enjoying myself. So it was like, let's just do it. Um, but yeah, but some weeks it can, yeah, it, it just takes all my time so today friday while Catherine's here which is not a usual for me while i don't have loads of background stuff to do i have some but it's not urgent um i've got stuff to keep me busy all the time the urgency level is what changes and i don't have anything that's urgent this week so I'm just going to use the day while Catherine's home and see how many videos I can get done uh, to potentially, I'm, I'm saying potentially because this is, I'm what, not even 10 minutes in to the first section of a long whip and waffle. So I don't want to, you know, the expectation is, the dream is that I get all my videos filmed, but who knows. Um, Fee says uh, she loves most of the videos that I do. Oh, I've just realised that is not even a full diamond. Get out. Don't need you. Um, she says she admits that she doesn't watch the unboxings anymore um, because she is on a serious no-buy. Um, and being enabled, she said, is easy for her. Uh, she has lots and lots of kits, she says, so it's not like she will run out anytime soon. Uh, she says, just for finances reasons. She says, but all of the videos, um, she watches normally a few days late due to work commitments, but she does get there and eventually watches them. Yeah, I don't expect anybody to necessarily, you know, it's not a matter of you have to watch the video the day it goes up and um, I can often tell by comments left or emojis left quite a few people leave a little you know emoji just a little footprint they've been there uh, it can be handy for themselves as well if they wonder if they've watched a video um, as much as it's great for me to be able to see you know what people are watching um, but yeah it's that not everybody watches them on the day that they're up. Um, you can tell when some people may be having, say, a bit of a diamond painting session, uh, and you'll see they'll watch quite a few videos in sort of one sitting. And to be honest, that's the way I watch um, those I tend to watch on YouTube. Not as much diamond painting wise. Um, but I do watch others. There are a few other people that I've followed for years. And I tend to watch theirs sort of 
in bulk, I'll decide to have a day where instead of having my book on, I'll have YouTube on, for example, and I'll just catch up on all the videos I've missed. Um, and that's what works for me. <coughs> uh, Lisa says she likes having the two Whip and Waffles. Yeah, I think the Whip and Waffles are here to stay. Um, it will, they would just may vary in the amount, the length of them, depending on how much time I've got. A bit like what I do now. I tend to do them for about an hour. The heaven and earth design sort of gets forced by the size. Um, the other whip and waffle, it can partly be determined by how much I peel back to do, but it can also um, be determined by time sometimes. So I will purposefully peel back a bit less. And then sometimes I'll purposefully uh, do more to, you know, and let the comments decide how far I go. Uh, Deirdre says, or Deirdre, she says she feels like the two whip and waffles a week, she said, is great. Um, she watches them whenever she can in her spare time. Uh, she says she will say, she says, and it is just her opinion. She says you should do whatever makes you feel comfortable. She says, on another note, she says she gets extremely happy when I get a zero on this diamond painting. She says she does like the longer videos, she says, but if you feel like you need to make shorter ones, she says she's completely here for it. Oh, thank you. Well, you're going to love today's video because we're going to end up with zeros across the board by the time we're finished. We've already reached three. Um, and we've not even done the second section yet. Uh, I haven't hit what I, I suppose, getting 152 finished is what I class as one of the bigger numbers, but it's not like the big numbers. So the big numbers to reach zeros on are 300, 310, 3371, 939, uh, they're the sort of darker ones that there's been lots of. 902 as well, I think that's one that's was a very, very high number at the beginning. So it's going to be very exciting when they get to zero, though I expect they're going to be the next section and not this one. Um, Navbium says... Hello, Rebecca. They said they are a silent subscriber. Hello to you too, all silent subscribers. Not everybody comments, which I completely respect. Um, sometimes it's just due to how they watch the videos. It's not practical. Uh, sometimes it's just that's not the person they are, which again is perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, hello to all the silent subscribers. Um, she says, but when you were talking about talc covered diamonds, she said she figured she would share her trick for those. Always up for those because I do need to sort out um, the rest of my tips and tricks videos. So any tips and tricks is always good. Um, and I'm going to try and have an organising day, um, I don't know when, but at some point, um, and try and get those tips and tricks videos finished up um, so that next year I can get that 100 tips and tricks series finished, maybe, get all those videos up. Uh, she says she takes a small piece of paper towel um, wet it and then wring it out and place it into the pot she says and then shake uh, she says afterwards she takes the paper towel out she says and they're good to go uh, no more talc and no need to dry that is a very good idea I like that one I'll have to keep an eye out for any diamonds covered in talc okay we're on four zeros 
not getting that one with a little ooh, getting another one though um yeah that's a really good tip and trick for um talc covered diamonds say so i'll have to try and keep an eye out um for when i've got some of those and just put them to one side and sometimes that's the thing i have tips and tricks for stuck together diamonds and all the rest of it um, and it's finding diamonds that suit the tip and trick at the time it can be fun right getting another one here as well i think we're getting the last of sort of this um blossom part coming down here which is giving us the last of the zeros as this sort of flowers slash blossom finishes off loving seeing all the zeros though even if it does mean i'm sort of dipping into the pot to get ones and twos out it's the final ones and twos look at that look at that this number four, I feel like I had loads of this as well. I can't remember exactly how many there was to begin with, but that feels like a nice one to, to be done. 400. Oh, we're going to finish 400 now. That would be nice. Six of these. 400 is one of the colours that I actually didn't have right at the beginning. I didn't have anywhere near enough of, uh, considering how many were in this painting. This was actually one that I think I ordered some for. I ordered a pot of 2,000, and of course, since it's taken me four years to finish it, I've ended up with loads. <gasps> 400 is at zero. Yes, that's a good one to get to zero. That's a nice one. Uh, Amanda says hey Rebecca she says continue with the whip and chats she says she also prefers two a week she says uh, otherwise she gets behind she says by the way she says she loves all of my videos and there's no need to change up oh thank you I do appreciate um the support behind my videos I do um yeah at the moment, I'm not changing it up. Hopefully, I'll find something that's a pattern that works quite well. Because sometimes half the, a lot of the problem is actually figuring out what videos to do. Um, especially when it gets to the point where I don't have, you know, I haven't had much time to actually diamond paint and don't have loads of videos finished. Um, that can sometimes be... Sorry, loads of diamond paintings to de-kit or ones to kit up. That can sometimes be a big problem. Oh, another zero. I'm loving these. These should all be like this by the time we're done today. Exciting. Um, Cross Stitch and Tat says she did learn a hard lesson, she said, on this project. She says, don't work on it if you are running a fever. She said it took her six hours plus to fix the mistakes she made while trying that. She says, lesson, don't do heaven and earth design while sick. So there you go, everybody. A heaven and earth design specific tip and trick. Don't do it while you're ill. It does take a lot more thought um than others so <coughs> i can get while doing it when sick is probably not the best option and depending on how sick you are you shouldn't be doing any you should be tucked up in bed <laughs> right we're getting any no oh we're on the next case it's amazing how quick i get through a case now or at least i feel like i do um, I don't know whether it's just because there's not as many um, numbers left. Maybe there's a bit less, sort of one of these and two of these, but I still feel like I'm getting it quite a bit. Um, Cat Lady says she went down with COVID last Friday. Ooh, and this was a couple of weeks ago, so... By the time you're watching this, this will have been a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
she says so following a knitting pattern she said was impossible uh, but diamond painting has been her main hobby this week that's another benefit to having lots of hobbies um, is you can change them around according to your mood as much as according to the likes of how you feel when you're unwell um, and you can change them up to suit um, sorry I'm just I'm on a batch of single single ones looks like I'm clearing up some of these here or maybe not all of them see this is kind of frustrating the likes of this one now that I've got two left so I know the other ones in this section and I'm so tempted to peel it back and actually scroll between the two but I reckon I'm going to get myself in far too much of a pickle if I do that uh, she said she completed another painting for her sister um, as the previous one she said was not working out uh, she then kitted up a large square painting um, train of dreams she says it's tiny squares it's 30 by 90 uh, and on double-sided tape she says so far this week she's done the first 15 by 30 centimeters she says covid has definitely affected her head uh, she says she needs to second think everything uh, she says she's told that she's not infectious now but she's certainly not back to her normal self well i hope you are feeling better by now i do think personally myself from having covid it's it's one of those it affects everybody so differently um, but I do find that even if you have milder symptoms those mild symptoms can actually still take a long time to shift as much as if you've had something that's a bit more a bit more full-on um, and then it whittles down to mild symptoms that then take absolutely ages to shift. I do feel like it's a long lingering thing. But take it easy. Um, I can't remember how long it took me to feel better after mine. But I know it was quite a long time. Um, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, I feel like my normal self now. Um, and it was that long after having COVID that I don't think I even realised how much it was still affecting me for quite a while. Until it stopped affecting me as much or at all. And then it was like, ah, this is what normal life feels like. <laughs> uh, Jen Guitar says she's wondering the name of the app that I use to track my heaven and earth design. So it's called Pattern Keeper. Uh, I have had a few messages on this one. Um, Jen Guitar did ask it, actually ask it twice. So I have replied to her, uh, but then I've kept one of them in there in case there is anybody that's more of a silent subscriber and can't or doesn't leave comments still wants to know so the app is called pattern keeper it is only available on android you do get i think a couple of weeks free trial it may have changed since i got it you may get a bit longer you may get a bit less um and then it is one that you buy but then as far as i'm aware it's still one that you buy and then you have it for the lifetime of course provided you're signed in on the right account um, but yeah, it's it's changed so much how to do heaven and earth design. It's so much easier to do it with the app. This 779 is another one that has sort of lingered about. And even now, it's only ever needed a scattering. I've still got one more that's going to be in there. But I'm loving all these like batches that are like, ooh. Done. I think I'm going to have a lot of singles on my next one. There's a lot of these that are going down to being ones. 
and then the last bit must be in my next section. See, look, just moves to a one, just a lonely little one. Right, um, Blossom Chops, she says uh, she does think it would be a shame uh, for them to lose the budget unboxings. Uh, she says she personally looks forward to Fantel's Friday, GBFKE, Coo Deals and the other small companies that I cover. Uh, she said she especially thinks they're useful to people starting out in this hobby um, as they can get a variety of kits to try without spending gazillions. Um, and finding that A, they don't actually like the items they've bought or B, they don't like the hobby itself. She says she realises that now your business is getting busy. She said it can you can be time poor. However, she says, I hope you find a way to be able to carry on with them. Um, I don't think I'll get rid of them all. I think... That might be, you know, the way I've said it is sort of come across um, a bit wrong. Yes, the budget unboxings take a lot of work. They really do. Um, for the length of the video, they take a lot of work. Um, and it, it's not... Um, See, it all comes in, in bits and dribs and drabs and when I need to, you know, pick pictures, uh, check pictures and then doing all the links and all the rest of it when it comes to editing and stuff. Uh, if something like that can be done in bulk, it is in effect easier, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, I don't think I'll be getting rid of them completely. Uh, I think it is going to be more a matter of just maybe not as often. I have slowed down how often I have sort of those types of unboxings on my other channel. I have slowed that down quite a bit um, because, because of the time. It was just whether I suppose I slow that down a bit more um, and just stick to you know, still showing budget companies. I don't want to not show them at all because I do think they are right for people. Um, but maybe it would be a matter of doing less of them. Sticking with Fan Sales Friday and maybe doing one or other two companies. But, yeah. Um, Nancy, she says she loves all the Whip and Waffles. Uh, she says she's not a big fan of the non-licensed images. She says now that she knows about artists, she says, but she likes the others um, and she'll keep with whatever I decide. Um, well, just to let you know, I don't, well, while I'm guessing you say non-licensed in the fact that there's not an artist name, there's not an artist paid for the artwork, any of the paintings that I show are diamond paintings that are able to be sold, used by the companies. That part of what takes a long time uh, is ensuring that images are ones that I can show. Um, but there are many images out there um, that the, the artist or whoever has created them has allowed them to be free used as such. Um, so they've allowed people to use it to make diamond panes, to make paint by numbers, to make cross stitch patterns and all the rest of it. So while it's not a matter of it being a licensed artist, in a way it is. They are able to use them. They're not doing anything wrong by using them. Um, and that is the case for as much as I can be aware for every painting that I unbox on my channel. So there is a way of people being able to get cheaper diamond paintings um, with a budget. Um, they can still get them and they're the only ones that I show. So just to clear that up, I don't 
show stolen artwork is probably the easier way to say it. Um, I don't show diamond paintings with stolen artwork. Um, but it does take time for me to ensure that they are images that can be used because it's something I need to check. I need to protect myself as much as anything else and that's what can take. It's sweet time. Um, Carrie, she says, thank goodness for your waffle today. She says she has so much racing around in her brain. Yep, I'm with you. It's like a hamster on a wheel in there. Um, she says uh, she needed the time to sit and diamond paint, she says, and listen to your voice to keep me company. Well, hopefully this nice long one will keep you company when you need it as well. Um, she says on Tuesday, they finally got a diagnosis for their dog who's been ill. Um, he has a cancerous mass in his bladder. Oh, bless. She said he needs surgery to have it removed. Um, so we're now raised, they're now raising money to pay for the surgery. Um, and they've basically done a fundra uh, fundraiser and they've been sharing it on as many pages as they can. She says uh, it's heartbroken, uh, but he's a fighter and they're going to fight with him. Uh, she said so now she definitely needs little moments to settle, uh, settle her mind and focus on something else, if only for a little while. Oh, that must be so tough to go through. Um, they just slot themselves into your lives, don't they? These pesky pets, especially when it's raining, that decide to run foot muddy footprints all the way through the house. They just find that little way to settle. Um, but yeah, I do hope that you um, are able to raise what you need and get and get your little fighter the treatment he needs so he can stay with you for longer. Um, and I'm so happy that I can help, in, even if it's in just a little way of helping you to switch off and be the best mum you can be for him um, by just taking that little bit of time to get your thoughts in order um, and slow down, slow down what is a very very hard time. Sorry these diamonds have been a bit of a pain. None of them wanted to go the right way up. Still got one of those pesky 902s to go but I am down a second case. I reckon I'm gonna have some oranges in a bit so that I can possibly get rid of. But let's see, getting some more green. Um, Susan, she says, uh, get a large hoop and quilt in it. Oh, is that for? Okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember what comment that's in relation to. Um, she says she likes all the videos. She says not just the whip and waffles. Thank you. Um, sorry, my brain's still trying to figure out what that comment's in relation to. <laughs> um, Kira, she says her main hobby is sewing. All the things, she says, bags, clothes, blankets and quilting. She says it is an expensive hobby. <laughs> That's why I'm not going there. Maybe that's what it's in relation to. You can quilt on a big hoop. Um, I think it's the learning of it. The learning of it um, and trying to avoid the impulse of wanting everything. That's possibly what it is. Um, she says she's new to diamond painting uh, and she's trying to keep it a small hobby. Uh, but she's already ordered a set of trays from me, she said, since she is um, already 
almost done with her second painting. She has um, five large ones bought in the waiting. She says, oh, she says she has the bug, uh, so, but it's a great hobby for her health issues. She says she loves my channel and me. She says, thank you for sharing your time with us. Oh, thank you for being here for me to share the time with. Uh, diamond painting, I do feel, is a hobby that you can keep more so under control. Um, there are a couple of things that, <coughs> if you buy for yourself, they can make things easier and nicer to do the hobby. Um, but, you know, you don't need loads. A lot of it is impulse is the problem. It's the impulse control of buying all those paintings that's often what what's our downfall. Um, we just lack self-discipline when it comes to the pretty things. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a right tickle at the minute. Um, but quilting, I don't know, I kind of feel like... You need the big machines because I would not want to sit there and, and hand stitch um, a load of stuff in relation to it. I just, I think I'd just get bored too quick and I'd end up with projects that just aren't finished. Um, but it's the big and expensive things that make it easier. Look at that run. These ones, I'm kind of glad. I don't know if anybody else finds this with when they do a project like a heaven and earth design there's a few symbols now i'm not sure if it's because they're actually symbols that have been quite scattered throughout the painting so they're ones that i don't tend to do a big batch of them like this 934 this is possibly the biggest batch of this color i've ever done it is so often a colour that I just tip into my lid and I'm pulling out one or two every time um, and not actually doing a nice big chunk, they become my least favourite symbols because it's like every time they crop up and it's often because it's scattered throughout the painting. Um, not as much this one, but these ones here, these nine... 919, 920, etc. They have constantly throughout the painting been a couple of this, a couple of that, a couple of the other. I just got to the point where I just dislike those symbols and I'm so happy that they've gone. Uh, yes, there are other ones that I've only ever sort of tipped into the lid. They've never been a big symbol, but they've been more scattered. So, you know, like, I'm not seeing them every time I go to do a section and only having to do one or two. They might crop up every 10 sections or so, uh, especially the likes of some of the oranges and the yellows that are very scattered. They don't show up all the time. But those 900 ones, oh my goodness me, they do seem to be in every section, but like one or two. <laughs> so well every section by the last one so I'm so happy that they've gone also the section the colors right at the end as well this s symbol is one of them <coughs> this symbol this sort of arrow with a line through is also one of them there's a few sections, oh, I've just realised I missed two. Uh, there is a few sections right at the end, uh, the colours right at the end, that again are also a very much scattered throughout symbol. And they're kind of annoying. So I'll be very happy when they've gone. Uh, okay, this one's always a, a doozy. A doozy to do. I don't think I'll be getting rid of this until the last section, that's for sure. Getting rid of this brown. <coughs> Lady Dax says, at the risk of giving you even more work, she says she does miss the tips and tricks videos. 
I miss the tips and tricks videos. Um, they're actually fairly easy videos to do once I've got the plan. Once I've got worked out and I think that's the reason I've not sort of started them up again is because I want to be able to finish it and I don't want to sort of start doing the tips and tricks and then run out of ideas and it's stall again. It's already stalled once so let's not start it until it can complete the journey. I think that's that's what I keep thinking with that one and things have just been so busy recently that it's not quite been able to kick start and I think it's partly those tips and tricks videos and wanting to bring those back um, that's made me sort of start this whole YouTube conversation and what do you guys want to see and to try and get you know have some full-on planning time and sort out okay let's get the tips and tricks all lined up ready let's get a plan in relation to YouTube and some things will shuffle about and some things will be dependent on when I finish paintings when I'm ready to kit up a new painting um, but I will have some structure maybe within it that if I don't have a painting to kit up or I don't have a painting to kit down or I've had a busy week that I can just stick with my core and then add things in so maybe it will fluctuate a little bit more in that I have a set number of videos for a week and then I add ones in as and when I finish a painting or something. Um, I'm still, it's still rolling around in my head <laughs> before any final decisions are made. Uh, Robin says she loves uh, the unboxings. She said she's seen one that I unboxed and she had to go buy it. She says she also likes the waffles. She says, have a nice day from Ohio. Thank you. I definitely can be an enabler when it comes to unboxings. Um, so I understand that some people that are, are on a serious no buy just don't go there. Um, just don't even look at them and sometimes that is often the safest option um, but you guys definitely enable me in relation to paintings as well so I think it all evens out in the end all ends up being fair uh, Jerry she says hi Rebecca she says this is going to be two part she said right hang on let me tip out my 939 Let's, oh, actually, this is this is a bit awkward first up. Let me find where these bits need to go. Try and, try not to make a mistake so close to the end would be a good idea. Okay, so she said she was able to get the Diamond Art Studio Christmas painting on the second pre-order. Uh, she says she doesn't have the funds normally to usually be able to order expensive paintings. Uh, she says, but when I unboxed it and explained that it was just like a heaven and earth design, she said she had to order it. Um, she says, as she stated last week, uh, she does like all of the videos to include the unboxings of budget paintings. Uh, she said it's much more affordable for her to order budget. Um, she enjoys my de-kittings. She said as she has adopted the same storage system that I use, she says, as well as the logbook. Um, she says she watches other YouTubers on rare occasions. She says as they do great on her last nerves. 
Uh, she says she watches my videos to relax and diamond paint. She says your voice is very soothing and relaxing. Ah, oh, thank you. My kids might not agree, but yeah. No, they wouldn't have agreed when they were younger. That's for sure. Um, I do enjoy doing my logbook videos. Quite often, you know, it does roll round to the first of the month and I'm like, oh, goodness me, it's logbook time. And I'm like, oh, I need to pull this from there and I need to sort out these pictures and I need to sort out that. But I need that. Um, if it wasn't for those videos, I'm sure my logbook would be about three months behind actually getting updated which would drive me up the wall i like the fact that it's updated and the videos actually help me to do that right i've just realized that i managed to put a dark diamond here in the wrong place it's close to the right place but it shouldn't be there oh that's good i've just pinged it do i have another brown one on the side I do there. I don't want to go hunting for where that diamond went. I heard it hit the wall. Um, so I'm going to pinch one of my spare ones. I should have put it there. And that goes there. There we go. And this is why, partly why, I have spare diamonds um, down the side. <laughs> of my painting so I don't I have a couple here not sure if you can see them there's just two sticking out uh, sometimes they are from when a, a diamond has popped off the painting um, it's sort of you know as I'm rolling it up it pops off so some of the diamonds are from that some of them are for when I tip them into my tray and maybe I drop one on the way and it's just actually sat on the top of my diamond painting and I don't realize until I'm going to roll it up and it's like oh there's diamonds floating about I stick them all down the side of the painting um, because I do expect to have diamonds sort of that have popped off or whatever and I am not going through this chart to try and figure out which symbol it is supposed to be um you know i do think that you need to get the majority of the diamond painting right for it to look right but i do think you can get away with the odd diamond that may not be the exact right color um and the painting not look any different for it so I'm picking my battles. Oh, it's kind of nice that that one's done as well. That one's a little bit of a loiterer. It's the one that looks a little bit like a flower or a cross. I'm loving seeing these zeros. I'm going to love it even more when we see it all. But at the minute, I am on 99.52% done. I am nearly there but not quite. This one, I'm still gonna need some more. That's not here. Oh, let's do some 3371. This one definitely goes on to the next one. I can actually see one here um, that goes on to the next row. So we're not gonna finish this to the end. Uh, Inga says she likes to do one painting at a time. Uh, she says, even if she has multiple kitted up and ready to go. Uh, if she says, if she starts a second one, the first one gets no progress uh, until the new one is finished. She said, same for reading books for her. She says she needs, to, needs and craves the satisfaction of finishing too. She says your waffle is uh, perfect for doing stuff around the house. Uh, she says she loves listening to me talk. Oh thank you. Uh, I often have YouTube videos on actually when I'm sort of cleaning the house. It depends what it is especially if I'm going into a room and it's getting a bit more of a deep clean. 
uh, then I love to put a YouTube video on. It's that whole not feeling as though you're doing it all on your own, isn't it? Um, makes the job go a little bit better. I reckon we should all we should all team up and find a friend that just comes and sits and drinks a brew while we clean the house. Just for company. They don't have to join in. They don't have to help. Um, they just come and sit and relax around our house while we clean up. And then we go to theirs and sit and relax while they clean up. Just, just keep us company. Natter while doing the boring jobs. This is, this is definitely going to feel a lot more closer to being done when this 3371 is done. I'm trying to sort of do the bits and bring it in so that I can just do this whole batch, uh, this whole batch in the middle and say it's done. It's just taking me a little bit, always does when it comes to this one, to sort of hone in my little section where I can just dot away and not think about it. So let's do some up here and bring it in on this side. Try and fill in. I'm basically trying to bring it in and I'll just do this square on its own, I think. Just, just trying to make sure that I don't make a huge mock-up with where these are going in the meantime. Three. I'm forever counting. It feels like I'm forever counting like up to a total of like six. Each time I do this, I end up catching. So then I'll go like, okay, one, two, three separate ones. And then that is number four, that big batch. As I go to mark them off. Uh, Laura, she says, hi, Rebecca. She says she likes all my videos. Thank you. She says maybe once a month you could do a mega waffle. She said two hours plus, she says, so we all get to enjoy the waffle for longer. Yeah, some of them definitely seem to sort of fall that way. That's for sure. Um, a lot of the time it's to catch up on comments. Um, yeah, it can sort of feel like I'm I'm discussing things that you know you haven't all said to me six weeks ago, <laughs> things like that. So yeah, I quite often do a longer one for that very reason. And I've just realised I missed one of those, which is in the last box. Of course, it's not in the box I'm in. Let me just do the search function to dab on that one and put that one in before I forget and then I'll go back to 3371. Otherwise it gets really annoying. Um, so yeah, sorry, in relation to the comments and things, yeah, quite often um, I do the longer ones, one when I have the time, but also to catch up on comments. And that's what I'm trying to do with this one. Though at the minute, I'm still on the week before last video. Um, considering I'm doing this on a Friday, I still haven't even got yet to the comments from the video that went up last night to me. Um, so we'll see if I actually get through all the comments. But if not, um, I might leave a few um, for when doing the de-kitting. Um, at some point, if, if I find they're sort of key ones, you know, that have a question that will be good to answer. Um, but if not, I'll sort of reply to them. I'm not quite sure how to do it yet. I might just say keep a couple um, of questions that will be good or longer topics maybe to discuss while I'm sorting out my spares um, because sorting out my spares and reading comments could make the process very, very long. 
uh, reader woman. She says, hi, Rebecca. She says she loves the kit up and breakdown videos, she says, and the whip and waffles too. Um, Lynn, she says she's a big fan of the whip and waffle videos. Um, she's super excited, she said, for me to finish this heaven and earth design. Well, today is the day, Lynn. Uh, she says she's on a no buy this year for paintings, though. So even though she likes the unboxings, uh, she doesn't mind seeing less of them. <laughs> less temptation. <laughs> She says she loves the kitten up and breakdowns also. She said if she had to vote for one, she would say less unboxings. That's what can happen when you're on a no buy. To be fair, um, it can definitely make unboxings harder to watch. Woohoo! Another one down. Let's see if we can get any more of these little pesky ones. We're getting another one here. Oh. Uh, Kim, she says, the videos she watches but doesn't love are the unboxings. She said, through the various websites, uh, she trolls through the various websites herself um, and doesn't find the unboxings necessary. Uh, she says, if she wants them taken off my hands, she said that would be her vote. Uh, she says, all the other videos she watches over and over. <laughs> and she says, she can't vote anything else out of her playlist. She says, but you do what works for you. <laughs> I think maybe bringing the unboxings down more on par to the same amount, maybe, of the other videos that I do might be a good way to sort of start, is just to whittle them down a little bit, even if it is sort of the second channel. Um, but I say again, it's sort of one of those, I do want you all to be able to see what I add to my stash and I definitely don't want to get rid of the budget companies. Um, I just think maybe there's a few too many at the moment. Or maybe it's just because I've had a lot of emails coming recently <laughs> um, in relation to more of the budget companies. Maybe that's what makes me feel like there's too many at the moment. It goes in waves. But they're never all together. There always ends up being something that's a bit more scattered in relation to them. So I feel like I'm doing them all the time. Um, okay, that's a normal whip and waffle. Uh, Kaz, she says she has a Samsung tablet uh, that she mainly uses for pattern cake keeper and to do her diamond paintings from stitches to stones she says there has been many a time that she has forgot to plug it into charge yes i nearly forgot to plug this into charge ready for doing the video which of course i thought would be at the weekend but i've actually been able to do it on a friday um because my plug was being used for my light pad um which is definitely needed a lot more now. It's sort of autumn and earlier nights are coming in. Uh, but I did remember to switch it over last night when I actually got my light pad to use. So that's good. Um, Astrology says, hi, Rebecca. She says she enjoys having any of my videos playing when she's working on her own diamond painting and cross stitches. She says being in Australia, she says they are released perfectly for her weekend crafting sessions. She said she would love to see some how to's updated uh, especially using glue dots she says specifically the ones you sell she says thank you for taking the time to make these uh, videos she says as a teacher who records her classes she knows what it takes to set up for recording she says even if you're not editing later 
uh, which one do I need? This one. Uh, she says she's recently got back into crafting um, and found my channel when looking for things to have on in the background. Um, she says she loves the whip and chat, she says, because your format of comments and response is like being part of a group conversation. Um, she says she ordered the advent box, which she'll be unboxing for November rather than December, as she will be travelling during December, during Advent. She says she also ordered both the round and the square, uh, the calendars, plus a bunch of packs. She says one to leave as the full design um, and one to cut up and do while travelling. So she's going to do it paint gem mini style. Uh, she says she loves the paint gem kits uh, and when she's finished them, they go into magnetic photo frames um, to border the white room whiteboards in her classroom. Personally, <laughs> awesome. Sorry. Then she says personally, she doesn't watch the long the logbook videos. She says sorry for the long comments. Um, I love that they are going on your whiteboard. That's awesome. Get some kids into the craft. My daughter's been getting some kids into the craft. In fact, I need to do a um, budget unboxing soon. Uh, I, I've got a few that are sort of to do, but I do need to film one early, even if I don't, um, even if it's not scheduled yet. Oh, I'm so happy to see some of these last ones go. It's from this symbol down. These are the ones that drive me batty. So I'm about to get rid of two of them, which is flipping awesome. Um, yeah, my, Megan took, has taken some stuff into school that kids have done. Um, but then she's also got one of the teachers and her kids kind of hooked. So, um, yeah, I did tell them to go on a, a website for me. Uh, so this is what I did for them because they can also help me out is I said right go on this website and pick a cup pick a few paintings that you like and then I can check that they're ones that they're images that I'm fine to use and then I'll do an unboxing video and then I'll give them you so apparently the kids had great fun picking out what paintings they wanted so they've arrived so I need to do that unboxing so that I can get them passed over before they have half term Look at all these that are gone. I've missed this one up here though. Don't know how I missed that. Let me go back and do that. I'm so happy to see the end of all of these. I really, really am. I think there's gonna be one loitering just to annoy me. Just to annoy me. It is, it is. I can see it already. Is it? Yes, there's four of these left and it's only letting me do three. So I'm going to have one left to annoy me. Or actually, so I'm going to do those three. Then I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to make life good for myself. Oh, do that one there. So that finishes that section. Whoop, whoop. And we're doing the second section while on video today. So I'm gonna go back to that one and I'm just gonna do that one first. It's gonna be my first instead of my last. And I do wanna go there because I haven't put my line down here. I best do it because I could confuse myself more on video than anything else. Look at that. All those pesky ones right at the end are gone. Look at that. These aren't so bad. But look, look, look how many zeros. Who gets excited for zeros? <gasps> are you absolutely jumping up and down in your seat right now? I am getting so excited. Okay, so we should have every single last colour now. But... I have been chatting for over an hour, so 
I am going to go and pause and get myself a brew uh, and then come back. So it won't be any huge wait for you guys, but I need a drink. So I'm going to go and get myself a drink, say hello to Luna, and then we're going to finish this bad boy. Are you ready? I'm back. Are we ready for zero? <laughs> Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, let me get my tablet set up. I've had myself a brew. Didn't take me long. Quick brew. Wet the whistle, should we say. And back at it. Okay, case. Didn't get my case out of did I? Let's turn these all into zeros. I'm actually quite a way down my first case just to get my first one but let's zoom you in so you get the tablet and the painting I sort of I need I need that gap for when I'm trying to put diamonds at the top um but yeah this I have been this has been my drive this week in relation to this painting is getting to this point where oh where I can get all zeros all across the board <laughs> this this has been my drive doing extra sections and I've I've actually enjoyed it more I think this last week um doing the sections of my heaven and earth design than any other week because I think I can see the end goal um, and know that it would be done and dusted. And I thought, I just, I just really don't want it to go into another week. As much as I have loved doing this, it's been a long, long project. So it's so nice to finally be getting all those zeros quite a few of this one in this last little section this isn't even one that had a high number to begin with they're just obviously all down here in this bottom little bit right uh streaks me she says she is still for team whip and waffle she says but she loves all my videos nonetheless she says she can't wait to see this massive heaven and earth design finished not long now not long now i can imagine i am going to be very very excited for the rest of the day um she says on another note her heaven and earth design she says she decided to purchase five boxes from art dot of the 447,000 square drills. Uh, that's right, she says 2 million plus drills. Uh, she says, but upon going through her entire stash for max colour, uh, she was needing 3799. She says she has loads in round drills. Isn't that always the way? Uh, she says she has loads in round drills. Um, but upon going through her in oh no, I've just read that bit. <laughs> she says she's counting the large amount of drill purchase as a win. She says because she will have enough square drills to do a second heaven and earth design she says have a wonderful evening she also says she says she'd love to have me come and help um with the large amount of drills she says but until then she will be buried i would actually love to come and help sort through that many drills i really would um I haven't, in relation to my Heaven and Earth Design Mini, so my small one that I'm going to sort of redo, um, I did sort of sort out the list and things of what I'd need and all that sort of stuff a while ago, but I haven't looked at it again yet since, um, but 
Um, once I've sorted out all my spares, I'm going to have a look at getting that all sorted. So maybe that will become my New Year thing. Um, and I might set it up in my tray storage instead of having it um, in pots. And maybe I'll do that and I'll do the Heaven and Earth Design Mini and keep it as a Heaven and Earth Design Whip and Waffle, just a mini one instead. Um, I'm not sure. That's what's also sort of going through my head is I'd sort of like to get the mini done, but I'd like to have a plan for it to not last four years like this one has. <laughs> right, I think we're getting on to... Oh no, not quite on last night's comments. There are a few comments that come in later sort of in in the week. Um, so Bev, she says, hi everyone. She says, with regards to the videos, she says her favourite ones are kitting up videos. Uh, maybe it's because her, it's her favourite part of the process. I do love a good kitting up. I really enjoy doing the kitting up videos. Um, that's for sure. She says uh, she also loves the kitten down ones, uh, but as she's still slogging away at setting up her spare drill storage, she says she doesn't really need to kit down at the moment. Uh, you could set it up as you're kitting down. So you could pop the numbers that you're kitting down. So your kitting downs will take a little bit longer. Um, but it will get your spare storage done bit by bit because it can be quite a process if you decide to do it sort of all at once. Um, so you could just start by doing it as you kit down, a bit like me sorting out my spares as I kit down. Um, it's sort of making it a little bit more of a broken up project, a little bit less tedious. Um, as a project in itself and I'm hoping that it will make the kitting down of this one a little bit less tedious because while I enjoy kitting downs kitting ups are definitely I prefer kitting up than kitting down um, so it'll be kind of nice especially the amount of colours in this one it will be very nice to do it bit by bit um, in with sorting out my spares which that probably wouldn't be as bad a project um, because I would just be sort of creaming off. The tidying up of my spare storage is primarily creaming off the ones that I have too many of. Um, but yeah, I think grouping it together might make both of them a little bit more enjoyable. I'm hoping so anyway. We shall see, but I'm definitely going to be creaming the diamonds off. I'm going to be quite ruthless in getting quite a few out. And then I'm going to sort out if any of them I can use um, for my two Heaven and Earth designs. So my Heaven and Earth design mini and then my um, Heaven and Earth design that I've got the canvas for. So the symbols are on the canvas. I'm going to see any of the low colours of that one. I think I'm also going to potentially use my spares and then order in the rest. Um, I think I need to sort of get into it, but I need to sort out my spares first. <laughs> and then I'm sure I will have a very fun time giving out spares to anybody that needs them because I'm going to have a load and I'm gonna to wanna to clear some space, that's for sure. Right, why am I struggling with this one? Okay, there we go. These blacks also, it's the sort of end of my pot, so there's quite a few that are a bit bitty. I'm trying to see if I can get out all the decent ones and see if I'm gonna end up needing to get some more before I can finish this section. Um, she says she's trying to think of her least favourite type of video. She says, but she gets 
something out of every video that I do. She says, you're not the only YouTuber that, I'm not the only YouTuber, YouTuber that she watches that does diamond painting uh, she says but she gets different things from different people she says for example there is one she watched who started a painting a few months before she did um, and she feels like they're learning together um, with you she said it's your experience and with another it's her accent she said each channel brings her something that she enjoys um, or she wouldn't be watching. It's a fair point, fair point, definitely. Um, she says, you have an audience who enjoys your content and they will still be there, she says, whatever you decide to do. She says she hopes this helps and she hopes everyone has a great week ahead. Oh, thank you. It's true. I mean, I follow quite a few people, say not necessarily diamond painting, but I do follow quite a few on YouTube. Hang on, big moment. <gasps> Yay! And pretty much all of those sort of trash ones. So I'm just going to tip all those out and I'm going to call that one de-kitted because I don't need any more. I don't need them. Um... Yeah, and sometimes I find with the, quite a few that I have on YouTube, sometimes it can just depend on my mood as to which one I fancy as well. Um, you know, not that any particular one is, if there's any particular one I don't like. Um, it, it just purely depends on who I'm in the mood for which can also happen in this house, you know. Sometimes I'm in the mood for people more than others. Um, Denise, she says, please do not take this personally, she said, but she's going to tell me off. I did read this comment earlier in the week, Denise. She said, listening to you waxing and waning as to whether you should do a white Christmas uh, intermittently or forging ahead, she said, she says, forge ahead. She says, as it's specific to the upcoming uh, seasonal celebration, she thinks it should be completed so that I can display it in my home um, as part of your Christmas decorations. She said, she says, I should focus on my heaven and earth design on white Christmas between now and the end of November. She says, apologies if I sound a bit bullshit. <laughs> You don't sound a bit bullshit, Denise. And I do I do get what you're saying as well. I often have very much of an internal dialogue with myself. And and sometimes it's like, do you know what, you're overthinking this, just do it and do what you want to do. So this last week I have actually been able to diamond paint in an evening. Um I've not had as many urgent things on my to-do list because as I said earlier on, my to-do list is always full. It's whether something's urgent or not. Um, and I've not had anything urgent um, this last week. So I've been able to concentrate on my heaven and earth design. Hence, I'm at this amazing point. Um, but it means that I have been able to sort of have a bit more energy I suppose maybe it's just a good energy week as well to do more diamond painting in the evening so this week so far I have only done white Christmas um, because I did read Denise's comment and I do think as much you know the others aren't getting fully neglected um, but it is an upcoming season it would be nice to have it done and enjoy it then it feel like it's a project that's lingering um, so you will have seen on Sunday's Whip and Waffle that's actually going up before this um, that I've actually progressed quite a bit on White Christmas um, and I'm going to focus on that one in the evenings more so than the others um, and then go back to 
you know, spinning the wheel when it's it's not as big a deal as to which one it is I'm doing. None of them are time sensitive or need to go to a certain place in my home and do it that way. Um, so, yeah, I have listened to your comment, Denise, <laughs> and I am doing more White Christmas. Uh, Mrs Thaxton, she says she loves my videos. Uh, she says she's been trying to catch up. Hang on, let me just... One, two, try and make sure I get them in the right place to finish them off. Uh, she said her... Mum got diagnosed, oh, got diagnosed with cancer, oh, she says, at the end of January. Uh, she ended up having to go home to Louisiana to take care of her um, because she broke her collarbone. Oh, my goodness me, everything at once. Uh, she says, so half of her year was crazy. Uh, then her husband's father got diagnosed with a tight cancer, so that not put another kink in their year. Uh, so she got way behind on diamond painting. Not surprised, sounds like you have had plenty to be doing. Um, she said she was in the middle of redoing her spares. Uh, she says in the end, her husband got diagnosed with spinal snoozes again in his back lower uh, so now they're having to prepare for two surgeries in January. Uh, she says this year has been crazy she said she didn't even get back to her craft room uh, until after June uh, and she didn't do a diamond painting till September she said so she's now trying to catch up on my videos well take your time with them they'll always be there um she says on a positive note her daughter's depression is better uh, she's got new friends uh, so she's hardly ever home now she said she loves her new friends oh i'm so happy there's some good news mixed in with all that bad and i hope all the family is doing well um you know spend the time together enjoy each other and all the best to all of them um and here's for a better 2024 for you um sounds like you need it <coughs> i am on um comments from the most recent video now which is good because even though i've done a major long whip and waffle i'm still not caught up on all the comments but hey, that's what happens when I waffle as I'm going along and get distracted occasionally by colours like this one that are a bit more all over the place. I do like the fact that these are going to zero to remind me if I've missed any. That's kind of nice to see if I may have missed one. If it's not turned to zero, I've missed something from somewhere. It's like a little, little checkbox. Um, Mrs. Saxton also says, she says, as far as your videos, she says she loves the whip and waffles. She says she diamond paints uh, with me with her headphones on. Uh, she says when her husband is watching TV. She says if she's in her craft room, then I'm on the smart TV. Um, if her door's closed, her family know to leave her be. Love that. <laughs> And she also loves to watch the unboxing. She says also just so that she can see what is out there. She said, so sorry for so many comments. Uh, she said also, ne did forgot to thank you for the line free tray. She says she's excited about the big one. Uh, and she'd love to have them in colour. Well, I reckon we will be able to potentially bring out the line free trays in some of the stock colours in the future. Um, it is something that we're hoping to do. It's one of those, it just tends to take um, longer than expected. So at the minute I am still 
printing to sort of refill the stock. So I have a shelf of each stock colour in, um, of course, this craft room where I pack orders from. I have a shelf of each. They hold about 15. Uh, I think Zesty Trays, it holds 18. So they're like, they're not huge amounts that we hold because, of course, we can reprint them. Um, but I can't seem to get to the point at the moment where my shelves are full of the stock colours because um, the launch... The September launch and the orders that have been coming in since, uh, there's been a steady amount of trays going out as well. So I will print a roll of a stock colour and sort of it'll all get filled up. Um, but then while I'm filling up another stock colour, that one will run down. <coughs> Which is good, um, but I don't want to bring out a new the likes of the mega tray with no lines um, or other colours of the no lines trays until I've been able to print enough to cope with the initial demand. But to do that, I need to get the stock colour trays up. So it is something we are going to be doing. It's just that's why it's taking the time to actually get it to the point where we can get them up on the website because as easy as it would be to just put them up, it's not going to help if I'm chasing my tail printing trays of all types to get out for orders. I sort of need to get at least the base colour of trays settled um, and then I'll be able to get ahead and get more done. So we are working on it. It just... But like this heaven and earth design, it won't take as long as this heaven and earth design, but it definitely takes longer than you think um, to get stuff done. But it's on our list, that's for sure. Um, Cat Lady, she says when she first came to diamond painting, uh, she watched the kitting down, she said, for how I framed paintings. She says as that was useful to her. She said, obviously, not all paintings get framed, uh, but the different ways to deal with paintings, like using a mount um, or just putting them on foam board, she said she would still find useful. That is something that I'd like to do more of as well, actually, is sort of revisit, revisit, redo or do again. Um, some of the the framing photos and you know what to do with the diamond paintings when they're finished I feel like yes I've done that and yes the videos are available but they're also like not recent like is there something that I would change is there something that I'd do different or just to sort of bring in um, in effect, some of the old content, but in the now time frame um, in relation to what to do with your diamond paintings when they're done, framing them. And I feel like quite often there are tips and tricks and things within a video that sort of need repeating um, and are good to be repeated. Not all the time, but it's been a couple of years for some of them. Um, so that's definitely something I'd like to sort of bring into the mix alongside my standard. Um, that's for sure. Right, where do you go? There you go. No, I've already put you down. That's why I was getting confused. I've already done that one. Just throw this diamond around a bit. I've already put one in there doesn't take much to confuse me, especially because these are very, very scattered for this one. There we go. Let's get another zero. Um, Grey Legrand says, ooh, she says a yellow tray uh, like a shade of butter. Um, and Blossom Shop said she would prefer an egg yolk yellow 
uh, yeah it would be nice to get sort of another yellow uh, tray done there's quite a few different colors there's a really nice magenta color as well that I'd like to do so I have quite a few uh, Ashley says why don't you look at doing uh, a small ASMR or time-lapse proportions portions of your video she says then you could turn your brain off and do a video at the same time um I, I don't know it's 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 I suppose it's because I stand and diamond paint when I'm filming that it that would feel quite different to do so I'm always stood up when I'm filming whereas I don't have the lighting when I'm sat down diamond painting on the couch to just film you know and then put the process up for people to just have on in the background or as something to watch so if I'm standing up and diamond painting then I may as well just chat to you <laughs> and just have another chat thrown in there uh, that's probably why that's not something that I've done. Uh, Anne says getting so close. Yes, very close. Um, even closer now, considering that was on last week's. And I, and I wasn't pushing myself to finish. And I think the not putting pressure on myself as well has helped me to have the drive to finish um, because my initial plan was just to get a load done and then if the week got busy I'd done it I'd done my heaven and earth design um, but I've actually had a quieter week than I thought so um, in relation to other stuff that I need to do uh, Jess says wow Rebecca she says 10 to go she says she predicts that I will get excited this week as the end creeps closer uh, and double up on several days well you predicted right Jess uh, she says she has been following along since the beginning too and she can't wait to see the finish of this beauty uh, she's enjoyed watching you she says but she still doesn't have the itch to do a conversion she says she has so many beautiful canvases that she can't wait to complete. She says she is planning a detox stash down for herself, which means no new purchases until she completes what's in her stash. Yikes, she says, wish me luck. You know full well a company somewhere is going to release the most gorgeous your dream painting don't you because that always happens when you say you're gonna stash down uh, she says current stash count is 135 with one on the way see there we go good start um and three whips she says she thinks she can do it because there is a lot of 30 by 40s in there she says 18 months is her guess on her rate of completion so far. Um, the hardest part, she says, is the idea of losing her diamond status with the Diamond Art Club. She says, but she can always reattain that uh, once she hits that zero point in her stash. She says, am I crazy? Yes and no. Jess I think it's a very worthy goal to have um, if it wasn't for YouTube I would probably say I'll join you um, and just try and not get any new however I also know that the temptation can be heightened when you're doing it um, whether you should set yourself the goal of zero or not that one's a bit of a tricky one. I do think you should definitely have a goal um, to, to get down your stash. I just don't know whether you should make it a more reasonable number than a zero number, if that makes sense. Or maybe allow yourself 
to provided you have got so you're saying 18 months based on 135 so maybe if you say to yourself if you get your stash down to 75 which is just over half then you are allowed to so just over half that would take nine months based on you know the rough calculation that you've done so nine months so that's not quick enough to lose your diamond status on diamond art club so if you get down to 75 then you are allowed to maybe allow yourself to purchase for example the diamond art club paintings that really jump out at you in order to keep your status um but then stop again until you've got it down to say 10 or whatever is reasonable um if that's something that you know with you mentioning it in your comment that you've really bothered about is set yourself a goal that is a really good goal but then a treat for reaching that goal um, or allow yourself to buy, you know, X number of paintings maybe when you hit that goal. Um, and maybe it's not even Diamond Art Club. Maybe you find that there's actually a painting from somewhere else that you're in love with. And that's the one that you want to do. Um, and do that instead. So I think it's I think it's a good goal to have. I just think you should have some treats along the way. I suppose that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, the door's gone. Luna's going crazy. Um, oh, I'm needed. I'll be back. Sorry, I'm back. Delivery I had to sort out. Uh, that's the only downfall from doing painting, uh, doing videos in the week rather than the weekend is there's always that chance that I'll need to go and sort something out but we're back on track right um Susan she says Suzanne sorry she says oh hang on that didn't help I put one down and then completely lost where I was um, she says she's in awe uh, that I'm almost finished she said last year uh, we would have thought it was going to last a lot longer that's for sure I think I was only halfway wasn't I at the beginning of sort of the whole challenge of getting this completed I do have my little checklist for sections but it's actually currently in the conservatory I'm using the back of it to mark whether I'm doing sweet shop or um, walking in the rain as as my large kit up to do um, I've got a little tally going and I'm pretty sure I know which one has won already it's going to take a lot for it to not be the winner um, but yeah um, she says when you dig in and get it done she says she's very excited to see it finished that's for sure and I think that's been the thing with it it's it's one of those projects that I know I definitely do it it's a new project you get all the gung-ho and then things slow down um, and you sort of in a way you sort of just plod on until you end up finally getting the gung-ho to finish it uh, the difference is I just had a two-year gap while trying to get the gung-ho to finish it and that was the problem uh, she says she's very happy that it didn't happen the finish didn't happen while she was recovering she said it looks so beautiful and thank you for sharing well, I'm so glad that you are here for the finale, Susan, and it's very nearly finished. I was so tempted when I've just been and sorted that delivery and Catherine's just done a couple of bits that she needed to do. So tempted to make myself another brew. 
I was like, no, I want, want and need to finish this. I will have a celebration brew when I'm done. I need to find the space to lie this out um, in a big long line to show you all and I think I actually know the perfect opportunity I'm going to have to lay this all out um, but it is a couple of weeks away it is going to be a few weeks away so while I will of course show you this bottom section um, once we're finished I'm going to move the tablet out the way so that you can see all the part that's just been completed for the full overview of the whole painting that's going to have to be in a few weeks um, because I will have a prime opportunity to lay it all out and I'd rather use that I think it will just look so much better and you will be able to see it all in its glory so much better if I wait than try and make it work before this opportunity comes up um, so yeah right, let's get those my another zero I'm loving this big long line of zeros I've got point I'm on 99.8 five percent to go right and that's another case done i also need to figure out when i have my big sort out so i'm going to have a sort out of everything in my stash or my storage and everything i'm going to have all four of these cases when i've de-kit so i'm not sure whether to put a couple of these cases in the big december giveaway um or you know or whether to keep some while i seem to be kitting up a lot of paintings at the moment i'm not that's another thing that runs around my head on odd occasions <laughs> there's always something um gray legrand she says oh boo she says youtube ate my comment <laughs> She says she likes the idea of a buttery yellow add more zest tray. I think YouTube just hid your comment from you um, because I do remember reading that one out. But I'll put I'll put yellow on the little list. Uh, she says the first tray that she purchased was a pink zesty tray. Um, and after that, she tried the AMZ tray. Um, and she actually prefers using that one. Uh, she uses her mega tray for really large sections uh, when colour blocking, she says, since she loves multi-placing. Um, yeah, I, I go through phases. I go through phases of using a zesty tray all the time and then using an AMZ tray. But I think if I had to pick one, my AMZ tray is my love, is my true love. Uh, Natalie says, do you have a playlist for Diamond Art Club Minions? Um, no, I don't have a playlist for that one. It isn't something, it is in my Whip and Waffles. So you will be able to find it in my Whip and Waffles playlist. Uh, but it isn't something that I did the whole thing why am I even doing this? There's too many colours for this. Um, it isn't something that I did the whole painting on video. Um, I did quite a few bits, but I don't know that I did loads. I'm trying to remember. Um, but no, I don't have a playlist for that one specifically. Uh, but you will find a lot in my, or quite a few in my Whip and Waffles playlist is where you'll find those uh jody says she loves all my videos thank you jody i'm making a right mess with some of these diamonds now i'm getting excited because i'm nearly finished that's why mm -hmm. um gray legrand says have you decided yet on squares or rounds for the advent 
event. She says she got the round kits because she liked how much softer the images were. Uh, and if she cut them all up, she will fit in a four by six frame. Uh, also, she looks forward to working on it each day and seeing if she can beat my time. Well, it will be a bit easier to check the beating of time this time because the squares and the rounds, albeit the square size finishes up as being smaller, they are both exactly the same number of diamonds. Um, I think I'm going to do square. I think I'm sort of swaying towards doing the square one a bit more this time. Um, we also got a lot more stock in of the square because square tends to be more popular than rounds. Um, but I sort of thought I'd just let stock decide. Um, we have plenty of both for people that do still want to do the same painting as me for the December event. Um, but yeah, I sort of thought because I'm not very good at deciding which one, I'll, I'll just let the stock levels decide and go for the one that we have more of. Is that a cheat way of doing it? Probably is. Do I care? No. <laughs> I'll go with the cheats way if it helps me to make a decision. Um, Jody says, have you tried diamond art putty? Um, I don't know which putty diamond art is. Um, it's not something that I've seen or tried. Uh, I have tried Abby's and Abby's putty and Cat's putty that are um, UK wise. Um, I have tried those and I do quite like those in um, multi places. I quite like using those. Um, I have you have put some glue strips in as well, though. Um, but I haven't been multi placing very much at the moment, so I don't feel like I've found my favourite to use because I haven't been multi placing much at all. There's a little bit more of a gap in the Dreamers designs, um, white Christmas painting. So I feel like single placing makes them go down a little bit nicer. But having said that, I haven't tried multi-placing with it. So maybe while I'm concentrating on just the Dreamer designs, maybe I'll give multi-placing a go. I know I do have some big batches of white coming up. Maybe I'll give some of that a go. Um and test out, in effect, the putty and things a bit more. Uh, Tiffany says she would love a glitter blue and a glitter purple in the AMZ size. Um, we'll see if we can make glitter work again. We did do glitter ones, uh, zesty ones in blue, purple and pink, um, but they're very harsh on the printers, the glitter ones. Um, the printers don't seem to like them. They definitely tested our patience when we were printing those. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see if we are up for a battle um, with those and get some more of them done in the different size. So that one might take a little bit longer before we're able to look at potentially doing them again see if we can find a way to make the printers like them a little bit better. They're not so bad if they're only printing a couple. Uh, the printers seem to cope fine, but the amount we have to print for a launch, um, it's very, very hard going on the printers, especially when it's a filament that is in effect a little bit gritty. Like it's not, but it is. It does have little flecks of glitter in. Um, and yeah, once they've been printing them consistently for a month, they tend to start screaming a little bit. They just don't like it. Uh, Celine, as she says, to add some new interest um, for Kitting Up, Kitting Down, she says, how about reading 
comments or questions from previous kitting up videos. Um, maybe I can do that in some of them. Um, I don't particularly want to leave the comments, the general comments like I do with a whip and waffle. Uh, because sometimes you know they're comments that don't need a lot of discussion on a whip and waffle and sometimes they're ones that do and sometimes they're ones that don't but I go off on a tangent uh, but maybe I will go through some kitting up or kidding down videos um, maybe when I you know try and organize some more some more sort of planning sessions I suppose for YouTube that's what I'm hoping to sort of work in it's a bit more planning lining things up for stuff so that when it does come to filming it's just straight get on and film um that's what I'm sort of hoping to be able to do with a lot of the YouTube is just get a bit more organized beforehand and then film at the weekend um Maybe I'll go through and get some of the comments that have already been left, like a frequently asked questions type of thing, and go through some of those on my next Kitting Up, Kitting Down videos. That might be a good one to do. So yeah, I like that idea. I'm just trying to see, oh, I still, I actually have quite a lot of comments from uh, last night's video that I've not got to yet. And I'm just trying to see where on earth, oh, I've already put it in that one. See, look, I've done it again. I've already put the diamond in. So then it confuses the heck out of me when I've not marked it off. Um, Lady Dax says she actually likes my kitting down videos. She said, especially the last one where you had all three boxes out together. She said, and it's nice to see your completed videos um, or completed paintings. Yeah, I think I do sort of need to team them up. Um, I did quite like putting all three boxes out last time. Um, I felt like de-kitting that paint gem mini was a lot better. Um, I think I should potentially do a little bit of prep with that one, you know, in relation to the likes of the display book and stuff. At the minute, I'm still doing them as sort of two separate. Um, but I think that might be something that I might team together. Or maybe do the display book before the de-kitting video and then de-kit it and then just show you them all completed in the display book um, and then maybe do the display book video if I start getting lots of questions on how did you do that maybe the next one I'll I'll do an actual video on it uh, but I do feel like I do have too many of those um, they're a very easy video to just split up and do that's the thing. Um, but yeah, I think that'll probably be better teamed in with something else. Um, Streaks Me says, you are so close to having this done. She says, congrats. She says she loves all my videos, uh, but she's not sure she's caught up with them all. She said she keeps returning to the storage tips videos. Uh, she's in awe and she wants to rent me to help me with, help her with hers. It is something that can be time consuming. I will agree on that front. It can take quite a bit of time. 939 is a goner. Woohoo! Next big one is 3371. No, yeah, 3371. Um, she says, I'm joking about renting you, but really, I'd be up for it. If I live close enough, we'd come, we'd have a natter and we'd do the spare storage together. I'd be up for that. Uh, TK Oster says, please don't get rid of the kitting down. Down, She says she really enjoys them um, because she then knows a kitting up will follow. <laughs> Love it. Uh, she said that is exciting to her. Um, Sharon also says, please definitely keep in the two whip and waffles. Yeah, I do quite enjoy 
say doing the whip and waffles even if they are longer so I think having those as a standard and maybe mixing up the rest but keeping them in uh, girl diamond she says great video she says love all your videos but she's a massive fan of kitting up and killing down I've done it again this has got far too many to try and do them in the lid um she says they're her favorites uh she does love a whip and chat too uh she says she sent me a message on facebook messenger she said hope you have a great rest of the week and weekend um i'm not sure what your name is on facebook um but do check that you have sent it to the add more zest page if you sent me a message on my facebook it is very likely gone into spam um, and to be honest i don't check that that often um, i will try and remember to check that after this video um, but you are best sending it to my main one yeah. uh, the admores s one because i can actually keep track of things in there <laughs> Um, it, it sends all messages through and I can actually see them and see which ones I've responded to and which ones I haven't um, otherwise my brain can get very confused there are quite a few family chats that we have on Facebook Messenger um, and others can get extremely lost in there to be honest most of the family ones get lost in there half the time as well uh, Sharon says obviously when you can do what suits you she says um you do so much and we appreciate you no end oh thank you that is appreciated um uh, Jamie also says please no more paint gem minis into books uh there will be one more um coming up but I do agree, I think that one needs sort of, you know, just putting in, then putting into books and maybe showing you um, the completed book and then maybe just putting them into a book every now and then as a video. Just more of a refresher for anybody that's new. Um, Sharon says, it's so exciting that I'm near the end. She says, go Rebecca. I'm even more excited now so much closer to being finished I can feel it we're very nearly there there's definitely a lot of fair amount of bitty ones on this though that's for sure um Susan says she loves the kitten up and kitten down even if I repeat myself thank you uh Ebby says, hi, Rebecca. She says she has a small favour to ask. She says, can you um, please do a little video showing me how to put the binder clips on the log books, please? She said, sorry if that's a silly question. Uh, she says, P.S. I love all your videos. Uh, but she does really love the kit ups and the breakdowns. They are her favourite. Thank you so much for your help. Um, yeah, I will try and get one of those up. Um, I have, I know I have shown on video before how to to change up the binder clips on a logbook. Maybe somebody can comment. It's last week's Heaven and Earth Design video to Ebby2379. If you can remember which one it is, um, I think it was within another video. I'm pretty sure it was within a logbook video, um, but I film lots of videos, so I can't fully remember. Um, I will pop it on my list. I do think it would be a useful sort of go back to video. I feel like I want to do some quite a few videos if I can that are, you know, more reference videos than anything else. Okay, it looks like I've had a diamond that I've missed doing around that section. So I'm just going to put one of those in it instead. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there is one somewhere. I'm pretty sure Jackie asked me um, to show. But you are best having a few pages at a time when you do them. Um, when you're putting, you know, a logbook onto pure rings. 
put the covers on first is always the best option um but yeah i will i will try and do like a, an assembly video if you're switching your logbook rings around or you're making your own up um, because you can buy the things separately so i will bob that on my little to film list and squeeze that in as soon as i can uh, I actually have some logbooks that I need to print and put together, so maybe that would be an ideal one. It's sort of showing you a put together logbook video um, and do it that way. Uh, Shimmy says she votes for walking in the rain for the painting. Um, and Reader Woman says she loves my kidding up and kidding down. She says, so don't get rid of those. Okay, I will keep the kitten up and kitten down. I mean, to be fair, they're not something that's always every week anyway. Um, you know, they are something that happens when I have a paintings to kit up or kit down. Um, so I'm kind of happy to keep those in, in the fact that I'm doing those things anyway. So I'll just waffle my way through or maybe get some questions to be able to waffle through <laughs> with um, answers to things as we go along. Right, I just had to pause because of uh, making sure it's saved. So I've changed my case, I'm on my last case. Uh, Kim says, in an effort to keep doing the kitting up and kitting down videos and the whip and waffles, she says she agrees with my plan to maybe have a week off from the whip and waffle and spend the weekend getting ahead um, with those kitting up and kitting down videos or other videos. She says, if you make a schedule like the last week of the month, the, there's no whip and waffle um, and we can catch up on your schedule and not expect them that week uh, and then they know that there is other videos coming up on the horizon um, she said there is nothing written in stone saying that you need to have so many videos each week um, Maybe stick to a goal of having two or three videos up each week. Um, two or videos up each week. We'll love watching the two or three videos and, and know that the next week um, there may be a whip and waffle as one or two of the videos. Um, she says, you know, we're greedy folks and we'll gobble up as many videos as you feed us. Uh, put us on a diet, she said, and give yourself a break. She says, we want a Rebecca who still loves her job of entertaining us, not a Rebecca who's getting burnt out. Uh, she says, we'll savour whatever you give us and enjoy it whenever videos come our way. Oh, thank you, Kim. That was a lovely one. Yeah, I am going to, I'm going to, I will let you know as soon as I've sort of dedicated some time to sort of working out what's best for the schedule and you know to keep as much content in there as possible uh trisha says she would love some cold weather four diamonds to go and my battery so rudely died on me okay trisha she said she'd love some cold weather um you can have ours she says hopefully soon it will be cold in texas she says just no more heat she says uh on another subject she said she's found out from her dad taking genetic dna testing that she is 50 percent irish slash british and of course she says the other half latin um, she said he explains her love of the Irish slash British history uh, and how she fits in in the UK when her and her family lived there for three years. She said her mum was OK, which is why uh, she never got asked which parts of the States she was from. She says she loves your content and the whip and waffles. Thank you. Uh, Denise says, oh, we can see the bottom of the canvas. Yay. Well, I'm very close to covering said bottom of the canvas up. 
Um, Cheryl says she's looking for a purple tray. Um, we have purple in the shop, Cheryl. Purple is a stock colour, uh, so we always have them available. Uh, she also says she's enjoyed seeing the progress on the painting and has watched since I started the project. Well, you are here for the end, Cheryl. Ta-da! Okay, I have one more comment, so let me read the last comment and then we will do the grand ticking off of the last two diamonds. Uh, Jess says she loves watching the videos. Uh, she says you could always spin a wheel for a Thursday whip uh, when you do your logbook updates, she says, and go with that one for the month. That's an idea. Pick the painting of the month when I do my logbook and then do that on a whip and waffle. I like that idea as well. So many ideas. Right, okay, let's put the case away. So four cases I will have emptying over the next few weeks. Let's mark these off, are you ready? Ta-da! It actually did say 100% before those two were marked. How bad's that? But the numbers match. I've, sti I've stitched stitched 1140 because this bottom row was nine deep not ten deep so it's not 1200 oh should we zoom out when you zoom out on this one the symbols start to disappear but look at all those zeros imagine if that was all 239 okay let's zoom out there we go so you don't offer to so look at that though that is the chart. If you look at it closer, you can see all the each individual squares. But of course, when it's further away and it focuses, even on here, they look like they're little. They really do. And if we zoom up, I'll just scroll up so you can see in all its glory. I will zoom out, out, out as well in a minute. But look, bad boy, two and a half metres long. In fact, I can't actually zoom out to get the whole photo. <laughs> There's not much in it, but it won't let me zoom out because of the size of it. But look at that. Okay, let's have a look at this bottom part. I'm so excited this is all done. <laughs> So, so excited. Right, let me zoom out so you can see it a bit better. It is amazing how they do look lit up. They really do. But yes, we have our girl at the bottom. We have all our green. I do like to go over this with my little rolling doodad. I think this was an unboxing from Fan Cells quite a while ago can hear the clickety clickety click. Uh, there is more than likely a few bits that will be missing as we go up. See, I can just see there's one here, uh, but I do end up with, say I pop any diamonds that I spot that have pot popped off down the side, um, but I will do that properly when I lay it all out for you in the next couple of weeks. But this is the bottom bit, it's finished. It's finished, finished, finished. Should we sneaky look at it? <laughs> I kind of feel like I want a sneaky look at it, but I kind of feel like I'm going to regret it as it all pulls down by my feet. Okay, no, that's enough because seriously, it will look so much better when I'm able to lay it all out um, and show you properly in a couple of weeks. But. <sighs> I did it and I did it in October and the video's even going up in October. So win-win challenge for 2023 is completed. Thank you all so much for being here for all of it. Um, I will replace these whip and waffles with a heaven and earth design D kit for the next few weeks where I sort out my storage in the same at the same time but I have four 60 bottle cases 
to de-kit so it is going to be a mammoth de-kitting that's for sure but thank you all to all of you for joining me on this journey whether it's been for this last half or whether it's been all the way from the beginning um, I will get say a video up of this completed um, showing you it all as soon as I can um, but I know I'm going to have the space soon to at least show you I won't have the space for long but I'll have it to show you in a couple of weeks so yeah thank you all so much for watching and for being here and I'll speak to you all again soon